Okay, hello everyone. Um, in this problem, we are going to try to find the area of the shape, but I'm looking at this and I'm trying to figure out what do I know in this. So I know that this is one inch and I know that this is one inch. Um, so together that would be two inches. So it's two inches across to two inches in width and it's two inches in height. That's all I know about this shape. Um, and so um, I know that with rectangles that I can multiply my width by my height to get the total area, but it's a little more tricky with triangles and I don't know how to find the area of a triangle. Um, so I have to rethink about how I can do this. Um, and we've been talking about rearranging um, our shapes so that we can figure out what um, their square units are. So I know that I can just rearrange this like this. Let me try to make a square out of this shape. I can place this over here. I still have just as much as I did before of our, our total area. I just moved it around. Okay. So thinking about this, if this were Say I had sewn a flag together, okay? Or maybe a sailboat. This looks kind of like a sailboat um, uh, piece of cloth. And then I was trying to figure out how much I actually used in cloth. I could just rearrange that cloth to figure out my um, square inches that I used. So my total area. So I could just move it over here. Now I have a perfectly rectangular shape, which I know that I can solve for. And so now I know how much the width is, which is one inch, because it's half of that, so one inch. And I know that my height is two inches. So that makes this pretty easy, that I can just say one, so one, sorry, times my height, which is two, equals two. Well, two what? Two cupcakes, two cookies, two centimeters, two inches. So I have two inches squared. Um, so that is my total area for this shape. 